Hi, we're Team 13, better known as Oceans 13. I'm Jade. I'm Camille. I'm Alexis. And I'm Ethan. And for our leadership project, we decided to go to Nahant Beach and clean up trash. We wanted to acknowledge that Nahant Bay originally belonged to part of the Pawtucket group of Native Americans. We were all really excited to do our part by giving back to our beaches that we love and value so much. Plastic production has increased exponentially throughout the past few decades, and with it is an increasing rise of plastics littering our beaches and affecting the wildlife and ecosystem. In fact, back in 2019, the pollution of plastics and other non-degradable materials caused Nahant Beach to be ranked one of the dirtiest beaches in Massachusetts. It in total had 36 unsafe swim days. Last year alone, over 1,600 pounds of plastics and trash, which is the equivalent of eight washing machines, was picked up along the Massachusetts coastline. We chose Nahant Beach because of its reputation of being one of the dirtiest beaches in Massachusetts. The town of Nahant is a resort town comprising rocky coasts in the southernmost part of Essex County. Nahant was originally used as grazing areas for cattle and other animals, but soon transitioned into a maritime community. It is the smallest island in Massachusetts. We would define civic engagement as proactively taking action to contribute to a community and make actual change that will improve its quality. With this project, we are doing what we can to help preserve the health of our beaches, which in turn gives back to the community and the animals that live within these habitats. Our group formed our own independent project. Instead of working with an outside organization, we decided to do this work because we all believe in giving back to nature and doing whatever we can to preserve and restore it. We wanted to show that even if you don't have access to outside organizations, you can still work to combat climate change on your own. Cleaning the hot beach helped us recognize the importance of preserving our state's public beaches. Environmental leadership is crucial in creating actual change. It's one thing to discuss how desperately you wish things were different and how upset you are over environmental issues, but actions truly speak louder than words. If you want to be the change you want to see, you must step up and become a committed and persistent leader and be someone who is able to influence and unify others towards a cause. It felt really fulfilling to contribute to the greater good and to make sure that some of the misplaced trash could be properly disposed of. This experience wasn't exactly what we expected as there was significantly less trash at the beach than we thought. Despite there being minimal trash on the beach, it was so rewarding to know that there was even less trash affecting the community. Environmental leadership is vital to natural resource conservation because without it, there wouldn't be anyone to protect the environment and preserve it. Conservation cannot happen without a leader to assist with the process. If everyone volunteered more, the world would be a cleaner and healthier place. It would also allow peace of mind for individuals.